What's good, Vision Gang? You already know what it is. This is your boy, The Vision, and I'm back again with another MMA reaction. Today's video, I got some Joseph Vincent for y'all. Y'all been requesting it. I seen it down in the comments, and I definitely wanted to come through with it. Y'all been asking for board films, so here we go. This one is George St. Pierre Rush, original career documentary. George St. Pierre. Definitely a person I've heard of, seen a little bit of in the reactions I've done, but never focused just on George. And he's in a lot of y'all's GOAT conversation, in a lot of y'all's GOAT pedestal up in that top three. So I definitely feel like it's only right that I react to George. I really don't know what his fight style was, but I can't wait to find out. I'm assuming that I think he was like a, uh, a striker and he had some like submissions in his arsenal, but I'm not 100% sure and I'm... Excited to find out. Before we get started, if you guys are liking these videos and you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be first to see the videos. And make sure you guys jab that like button, send this video to the moon, y'all. I'm starting uh, something new, y'all. I want to put a like goal up there. We want a hundred likes on this video. Let's make sure this video goes to the moon. I need each and every one of y'all to play your part. A hundred likes for this video. Y'all made me really a really happy guy. I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get this video started. Mixed martial artist. I mean, when, when I look at you, George, in the UFC, there are fighters and there are martial artists. And you were always a martial artist. George okay. St. Pierre. So pure, just a pure GSP. martial artist. I like that. Not just somebody like the beginning days of UFC where everybody was just like a tough guy, just a fighter. This dude was like... Quebec the first Canada. of what we got George now, martial artists, mixed martial artists, guys that are mixing styles together, not just one style, trying to make that work into everything. Feel me? I know that much, y'all. Raised in Quebec, GSP was Correct me if I'm wrong, like always, though. In an effort to stand up for himself, GSP started training in karate. Okay. So he started doing karate to karate so self-defense discipline and stuff so he could become. stand up to them bullies. Earning his third degree black belt at age 12. Hmm. He would carry this training through the entirety of his career. St. Pierre and, and Bruckman, this is going to be one hell of a fight. St. Pierre, unbelievable athlete, strong guy, and well-rounded fighter. St. Pierre Bruckman. decided MMA was the future when he watched Royce Gracie conquer UFC 1. Mm, okay, I get it. Yeah. Royce Gracie is definitely a legend. Now he's starting to line some huge shots. His arm is locked out. Justin is Bruckman it. just tapped. That is it. St. Pierre wins with a beautiful armbar. He needed to train in Muay Thai while simultaneously training in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But mm. there was nowhere to receive this type of training in Canada right. at the time. Where are you going to get that? He was working with a garbage man when he first came. He's a and garbage man. Wow. So GSP traveled seven and a half hours almost daily from Montreal to New York. Jeez. So, the sacrifices so there's making. Muay Thai gyms in. Um, Court, there's BJJ like I'm pretty sure everywhere that they have in my small town in Illinois. But class. at age 18, he There's entered Muay the Thai Canadian pro fight circuit. There. I didn't know you could learn Muay Thai in other places, like in the USA. He lived in a flop house while working as a garbage man but that's just and training in a small town. I'm about to shut up though. I'm talking too much. George St. Pierre, Rush. Okay. He really knows the ground game like nobody's business. That was a beautiful pass by St. Pierre. Now he's in side control. Hmm. Watch nice. him rag down this guy's head against the canvas over and over. Hey, what's it called when you use your knee to control somebody's arm? Oh, man. A little slams put them away. I'm the wild man Thomas Denny. Came up here from California to kick some Canadian ass. 
I know all you Canadians don't like me now, but you'll like me when I leave the ring. I'm here to fight Georgia the Jungle, but he better watch out for that knee. Call on Georgia the Jungle. Thomas better Dave watch out for that knee. Like Damn. Combat. Hey, that was that was a nice little promo. GSP handed him an old fashioned beatdown. Round one. Wow. Beat his Stars ass, huh? Martial arts at age seven to GSP. Hmm. And body shots. Nice hook. George St. Pierre, who is uh, okay. known for his uh, jiu jitsu abilities. Get over here. He just muscles his way through anything because he's just such an incredible athlete. It's not even funny. Nice takedown. Ooh, them knees. Them look sharp, too. When it comes to training, George is all business. He's not about being emotional. He's about being strictly effective. In the early years of MMA, there weren't many who had well-rounded training. And so George was one of the first that started to have a bit of everything. You were either a striker or a grappler. Some cross-training was essential, but fighters leaned into their strengths. GSP's training was ahead of the game. Man, that's crazy how I called it. I just felt like my name is Pete I knew he was a, more than just a one-trick pony. Unfortunately, I should be at home with my family and friends on this holiday weekend. But since I'm here, I might as well finish some unfinished business with George St. Pierre. Russia! George St. Being the Canadian champion didn't pay much. Fighters were contractually obligated to paint ads on their backs in order to draw additional revenue. Wow. Painting GSP ads on their backs? That's so strong. He That's could lame. On to opponents and end fights before they even began. It was his quick assault style that earned him the nickname Rush. Wow. That dude in that rear neck is so easy. Man, you should no chance at all that trash talking After you just was doing, bro. professional fights, GSP was called up to the big leagues, the UFC. Nice. He holds a mixed martial arts record of five wins with no losses. Standing five feet, ten inches tall, weighing in at 167 pounds, George Rush St. Pierre! You ready? Bring it on! Here we go! So I wonder how this is going to go, Classic starting off in the UFC. I, you know, I just learned when you treat. I know I'm not the best welterweight in the world right now. I know it. I have a, I, I have a lot of things to uh, correct. Yeah, George St. Pierre is, uh, he comes with a big reputation for Canada. He's uh, very nice. well known up there. Almost picked him up in power bomb. That contest, was Rampage Action S. He grew as a fighter. We will render the judge's decision. George Rush St. Pierre. So he won his first UFC match. To the uh, American fighter soon, uh, young a Canadian young guy, young gun is coming to kick ass. He's got a very large frame, cutting to 170 in the welterweight division. He's he must be from like the French-speaking part of Canada. Showing off his striking ability as well as his ground and pound. Because he's the master of shoot box. Shoot box oh, nice one to too. Will this fight stay Boom. standing or will it go to the ground? Powerful ass cross, man. I don't know if that was like a real cross or if that was a considered an overhand right, but it's beautiful. Powerful. George St. Pierre, who just came off of that break dance into the kip up is pretty cool. Dana White said, You are the future of the 170 pound division. Dana White was correct. This fight is five rounds. So would y'all say George St. Pierre is the greatest um, welterweight of all time? Who's the greatest welterweight of all time? Somebody let me know in the comments in the UFC, down below. Perhaps before his time was put into fight, Matt Hughes, for the world championship at a very young age. Here we go. Someone will leave a champion either for the first time or once again.
if St. Pierre is able to keep Matt Hughes from taking him down, it's going to say something about this fight. Ooh. There it is. Nice takedown by Matt Hughes. Into the guard, and the guard is open. He lost not so much because Matt Hughes beat him. Oh, he, he lost this match. Obvious mistakes. Matt Hughes on the chip, and it's all over. It's nice. all over. Matt Hughes with a submission victory. Bang, armbar over. Matt Hughes is once again the welterweight champion. It was too much, too soon for the still too green GSP. Okay. In the beginning, I used to beat people by overpower them. But then UFC, this is more like a chess match. At one point, it's not athletic, you know? It's, it's also brain and, and, and analyzing stuff. In the UFC, I do believe everyone is in shape. But I believe the reason why a guy is more tired than another guy is because one guy is more efficient than the other. It's like seeing Mickey Mantle play baseball. It's like seeing Muhammad Ali box. And it really becomes a matter of can someone come along that finds that one hole in your arm mm, one that has physical one arm attributes bitches, similar to stuff. yours or enough to nullify yours what? and has an added equation. Yeah. Trick the fuck out of me. GSP returned to Canada to defend his TKO title. He was doing the see, TKO and I mean, this USC, is that's definitely yeah, old because they probably ain't letting that happen no more. He's a very quick athlete. Finishing with another first round submission. So in what was he? would be his final TKO fight. That's interesting. He's finishing all these guys with submission. So was he more of a submission specialist? Somebody let GSP me know in the comments. Like, what was UFC, his, what was his like with strongest uh, the octagon, skill? Frank Trigg. This is Frank a huge, Trigg. huge showdown. One could make the argument number two and number three in the 170 pound division behind the multiple champion Matt Hughes. Another dominating performance from Rush St. Pierre. Really bad position for Frank Trigg. Choking Trigg out in the first round. Trying to get into a different position. Yeah, pulls him down. He's got the neck. This is it. Neck He's got it. He's got it locked in. This should be it. The GSP ascent continued. And the welterweights are underway. Oh, nice take to one. Nice. He, yeah, he be getting people down with the takedowns pretty easily. I'm, I'm assuming that jujitsu is probably his number one skill. That's what I'm seeing a lot of. He's fucking dude up. Ground and pound. Death. She did not look amused. That must have been his girl. Am I gonna go on my knees like that and ask the UFC management to give me a world title shot? Please, I want the bell so bad. Give it to me. I'm not gonna do a mistake this time. Give me a chance for the bell. Thank you very much. So we're getting opportunity of DJ DJ Pins. St. Pierre. Ready for so Matt Hughes must have already lost. Oh, okay. Okay, so Matt Hughes is still the champion. Another all-time great, BJ Penn. Uh oh, Polk. George St. Pierre is wincing his eye. It was a rough start for GSP. George St. Pierre's face is busted up. Very good first round for BJ Penn. BJ Penn is a deceptively strong striker. Matt Hughes watched from the crowd. St. Pierre, a lot, of, a lot of jump right here, though, Joe. He wants to bring the fight. It's almost like he knows he needs to accelerate the pace. And as you said, he was disappointed in himself in round one. In the next two rounds, St. Pierre dominated the action. Ooh. Oh. Scoring multiple takedowns and being the clear aggressor. Oh. 
Going for a single leg. Nice. Hey, he's dominating him with the takedowns. Still not even in your prime. I hopefully not. I, I feel great. I mean, I don't have any injuries. I, you know, like I said, I train hard, but I train smart. At last, GSP would get another shot at Matt Hughes and the title. Rush St. Pierre! Rush St. Pierre. Fuck Sweden. She's 42 and 4. That boy is fighting all the. He out of Hillsboro? That's crazy. That's crazy. Yo, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on. Big John McCarthy gets us started. This fight was much different than the first. So GSP just dominated this one, huh? Oh, yeah. Nice right. Boom. Ooh, them hooks. That was kind of dirty. Knocked him down with him, too. Ooh. Ooh, we put him away. Is it the first round? Oh, saved by the bell. GSP put on a striking clinic. Hmm. Ooh, that high kick. Caught him across the ear. That's going to give him some cauliflower if he ain't already got it. Pick it, pick it. Yeah, it's over. Won that thing. George Rush St. Pierre. George Rush St. Pierre. Like you talk about what what makes you scared. You talk about what you're worried about. Like you you know so you like I am scared because I I don't want to lose to this guy. Like there's a lot of people who never admit that. Yeah. Uh, but it make you, I think it make you stronger to admit that you're scared because you're not scared to say that you're scared. A powerful striker mm. who landed a blow to the back of GSP's dome right out of the gate. Fighting. Oh for fuck! Hey, had him on skates. Knocked out. They had him wobbling around. Did he, what are you gonna do? So it looks like oh George shit! Is not all George is made out to be. Mount and just dropping bombs. They beat him in the first round. Wow. Oh man, he got put away quick and easy. And damn. I, I was just angry at myself. I couldn't live without thinking about it. I was I was angry because I knew I was better than what I than what I what I showed, what I did. I'm not only driven by by money. Like I, it's good to have money. We like money, but it's not the unique thing that drives me and i still remember how strong that son of a bitch was with each passing year gsp continued to morph his training into an all-encompassing regimen i mean i'm talking about a weird strength and a lot of it in his grip he would not stop until every single part of his body, all the way down to his little toe, was in the perfect spot. Going hard at it. Oh, you doing underwater lifting? That's crazy. You're getting them shoulders right. People were really underestimating how great George St. Pierre was. Yeah. He's a guy who yeah. beat every person. So this for the intern. So dude must have got hurt. He had avenged 
All right, gentlemen, here we go again. We will have a clean, fair fight. You need to obey my commands, protect yourself at all times. Now let's hook them up. Interim welterweight title to be delivered to the victor. Right, An injury forced Matt Serra to the sidelines for a year. This opened the door to a GSP Matt Hughes rubber match for the interim welterweight title. He's got a Kimura on one side, a possible drive on the other. GSP out wrestled the wrestler and muscled him Put into him in submission. There. Ooh. Ooh, armbar. Whoa, that's a. Is that an armbar? I think so. She tapped him. Now, GSP would get the opportunity to avenge his loss to Matt Sarah to redeem what he called the worst performance of his career. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. George St. Pierre is the greatest ever. If you have to close. make a case for, if you have to make a case, I don't think there's a stronger case for anyone than for George St. Pierre. Crazy. He beat everyone who ever he ever uh, faced. He had two losses that were Matt Hughes and Matt Serra, right? And came back and destroyed them. GSP immediately went to work. Takedown after takedown. Sarah turns, GSP doesn't stop. He just outworked him. Oh man, he's tearing boy up. By brutal knees to the midsection. GSP. George St. Man, he's tearing him ribs. Oh. We got his revenge. In a great way. Seventy-pound division is just stacked. It's just a murderer's row of assassins, one lining up after the other, each killer looking more impressive than the next, all waiting to get a hold of George. Here we go! Immediately, Saint Pierre takes him down. This is no easy task. Ooh. This guy has a, he, he has a, a, an incredible uh, task in front of him. He has an incredible challenge. Ooh, put him away with that fucking overhand. To be champion, to stay champion, to continue to improve. It was clear as GSP entered his prime. I guess that was a straight. It was simply a cut above That's the overhand. Boom! Mouthpiece out of there. Ooh wee! Champion. I don't think there can be any doubt. A rematch with BJ Penn. The tactical layer, which is the last one, that's what separates contenders and champions. There's a physical, the technical, and the tactical. The tactical, I will know how, where I can take you out of your comfort zone and I can bring the fight where I'm the strongest. And what this is, is a, a testament to George St. Pierre's discipline, his focus, and his work ethic, because no one works harder than this guy. Mm. Teeing off. Teeing off. Boom. Bam. Bow, Round bow. Woo-wee. Tear him, boy, up. You know, I'm just incredibly impressed by his ability to control DJ on the ground. Oh, oh he's tearing him up. Four rounds of receiving a thorough beating. BJ quit on his stool. He quit Even on his no stool. Wow. Who the greatest fighter was. This time, you know, last time I fought him, I won in the decision. This time, I really wanted to take him out. And I'm glad that I did it. He's very tough. Tiago, the pit It was another exhibition from GSP. 
The pit bull couldn't stay on his feet long enough to do any damage to St. Pierre. Took him down over and over again. Just used that superior wrestling and excellent timing. Mmm. Right to the right to the side of the knee. The takedowns are so easy. He make it look so easy. Nice. Never satisfied with his growth as a martial artist, GSP sought the best expert in each discipline's field. George is one of those guys, when you teach him something, I mean, he's just getting the hang of it and he's just kind of feeling his way through it. And then he goes home, and the next day he comes back and he has it perfectly done. Freddie Roach was working on, on the mechanics of punching. And you would, you know, do jiu-jitsu in Brazil, or you would be constantly practicing your Muay Thai. You're always trying to learn and improve your game. Almost a martial artist first and a fighter second, in, mm -hmm. in that you're always learning and you're always practicing. GSP used the lessons of Freddie Roach in his next fight, turning to an aggressive striking game plan. St. Pierre, 14 UFC victories. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Here we go! Bludgeoning his opponent with the jab. Hmm. Superman punches, jabs, and face kicks. Oh, man, that jab. It's dirty, man. He's not knocking off his feet with a jab. Sensed it and took the opportunity. Overhand. Easy work for the baddest yeah. man on the planet. Mmm, nice spinning round. Is that a spinning roundhouse to the body? What is that? Somebody let me know down below. <laughs> you out of there. Uh, one last takedown just for just just to seal the GSP deal just to put a fucking exclamation point in welterweight champion undefeated in over four years but everything changed when he tore his acl oh, training no. for his next match damn and suddenly that which he valued most was taken from him mr st pierre when in a perfect world will you be back into hard training and fight again coming off that major knee surgery five weeks ago? Carlos Condit was crowned the interim welterweight champ. GSP was faced with two realities. Either he'd never return to form, or he'd be better than ever, or he'd take back what was rightfully his. Months later, GSP stepped back into the cage. Just a year later, nice. It's about, about normal schedule, normal timetable. Condit said GSP At least it is wasn't the champ like a late until I beat him. I am the placeholder. He looks for the first takedown of the night. George is shooting and he's got, got it. down. Went right he to the takedown. A huge gash over Condit's mm. eye in the first round. Went right to work. Went right to work early. I like that. Boom. The interim champ hung in tough mm. for five rounds. Hey, at least the interim guy didn't go down picked up early. Right where he'd left off. He, he made it go to a decision, I guess. It looks like GSP might try to get this thing over with. Now he did. Dude, dude is fucked up, man. Damn. You 
Steve said in the cage that George wasn't hurt, he's scared. Previously on X-Men. I don't think George is hurt. I think he's scared. I think he's scared to fight everybody right now. What's up? What are you want, George? Yeah, you laugh now. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's finished. Wait for me to come back in a year and a half. Why are you mad, bro? Because you're full of and everybody knows it? Is this Nick? Oh, this Nick Diaz. Big shit talk. Why are you talking. mad for Saturday night? Watch what happens Saturday night. Bro, do you, do you really think I'm afraid yeah, of you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, no, I don't. You, scared, no, you think I'm afraid of you, man? Are you crazy in your head, man? I'm not scared of you. You'll okay. see Saturday if I'm scared of All you. All right. He said that Nick Diaz, I quote, I, I quote, he's the most disrespectful human being I've ever met, and I'm going to put the worst beating you've ever seen on him in the UFC. <laughs> Nick Diaz is one of the greatest strikers to ever fight. So GSP didn't let him stay on his feet for more than a few moments. Hmm. Put him up. Got him to the ground. Got him out of his comfort zone, into Georgia's comfort zone. It's probably it going to be easy work. Pound exhibition. But so far, if he can do this, it's all good. He just manhandled him, taking him down, making easy workout. Oh, Nick coming unglued. You coming unglued. Hold it together, buddy. Hold it together. Round after round. Hmm. Putting hands on him, putting paws on him, right? Bow! Nick Diaz mm, made it a point to try to antagonize GSP in the lead up. But it was Nick who seemed emotional during the fight. This is the end mm -hmm. round. The bell rings. Whoa. They took a swing at him still. Yeah, he coming on glue, man. St. Pierre made sure to keep Diaz mm. on the ground. That looked like that was painful. Like he had a uh, hyperextension. From that kick. Sheesh. And they go the distance. He beat Nate. I'm sorry, Nick Diaz. That headband he wears is pretty cool. GSP and Johnny Hendricks for the UFC welterweight championship of the world. It was the toughest fight of his career. Hendricks can hard elbow mm. as Hendricks mm. landed with ferocious. Woo! Those some dirty elbows, but he got out of there. Oh no! That knee is dirty too. Bloodied GSP. Pull through, bro. Nice kick by St. Pierre. That first round has been one of the most successful rounds that a challenger has had against George. But the champ persevered. Exactly. Pull through. Hmm, nice. Good right hand by George. George St. Pierre is. He's a special guy. He really is a special athlete. There's a nice right hand by George. There's a good left hook by George. Tags him. And listen, there's only a debate between two guys. Is it John Jones or is it GSP? They was talking about who the pound for pound number one is. It was his 19th career victory. They have gone the distance. Johnny Hendricks. Like that was actually a really good fight. And like a real good one. Wow. What a fight. He has never lost a fight that has gone the distance. Hendricks feels very confident. For the winner, and still, still. 
bloquearem. Listen, everyone, it was a lot of talk uh, about what's going to happen. I have, a, I have a bunch of stuff in my life happening. I need to, to hang up my glove for a little bit. Are you retiring right now? Is that what you're saying? I have, I have to go away for a little bit, at least. And I want to uh, have personal things happening. And I want to, uh, want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart from, uh, the, to the UFC who gave me that chance. Putting the belt down. Essentially, he walked away from the game. And he walked away for four years. That's a long time to be out of a, a sport that, as young as MMA, which is evolving mm -hmm. all the time every year, the sport changes. What we do is kind of a life and death situation. It's such an extreme feeling that once you don't have that in your life, life kind of become boring. You yeah. feel like you're not alive anymore. GSP is back. He is returning to the Octagon. UFC 217 at Madison Square Garden. Mm, golf UFC for years. 217. Uh, Michael Bisping on a huge night for UFC. Do you feel like you see yourself a future? Is this kind of still one fight and see what happens? Or do you feel like you're now fully back? One and done. <laughs> one and done. Because he said like the little that he is. If he loses, I'm going to retire. George is, you know, underneath that suit there. You can see some... <laughs> You know, some nice little muscles he's been working on very hard, but he's still going to be the smallest guy that I've ever fought. I just wish Michael Bisping would have come out with a different song than all the guys that I've fought before, you know. Oh, you're just an athlete, blah, 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 you're not a fighter. Oh, I, wow. My journey in mixed martial art is more than, than, than legit. With a lot of people, they take time off and then they come back and you, you wonder what they're going to look like. And you were saying that you were better than ever. I'm like, man, he might be better than ever. Like, you, you're yeah. the one guy that I believe. The challenger, George Rush St. Pierre! So I'm guessing this is like his send-off fight, his last one. Do you believe the aging former champ could recapture his past glory? First of all, you came back, you fought a very tough guy, right? You fought a big Michael Bisping at 185 pounds. But what was impressive to me is like, you, you didn't look like you were gone. Hmm. Started off with a right. Nice overhand right. Hmm. Stuck that jab in there. It's kind of like a Superman jab, like the way he kind of flew in there with it. Ooh. He went low and came high with it, with that hook. Ooh. Third round TKO. Is it a third round TKO? No. He's getting his back. He put him in the rear naked. Is he going to make him tap out in the third round? Take him out. Wow. Okay, so he went up, won the Whoa. middleweight championship. Oh my goodness. Wow. Instead of 170, he went up to 185. Nice. Won that thing. Dope. Double champion. Whitaker. between George St. Pierre as a mixed martial artist and the rest of the world is too big for anybody else to close. That is the greatest fighter we've ever seen. We knew that four years ago. Nobody brings it home like it. Joe Vincent. Nobody. Make it so. All right, y'all. That was a Joseph Vincent documentary. Big shout out to Joseph Vincent Board Films. George St. Pierre, Rush, original career documentary, y'all. George St. Pierre, is he the GOAT? 
Like, he's literally one of the best welterweights I've ever seen. Of course, I haven't seen that much, but from what I've seen in this documentary, he definitely defended it against some high quality competition. Multiple times, had very little losses, and when he did lose, it just seemed like there was obvious mistakes he made. He just wasn't bested by anybody. Um, I don't know how he lost the middleweight championship, but he just seems like in another world, in another league, and he was in, at the end of his career anyway, so I don't even care how he lost that. Uh, he's definitely in my GOAT conversation now. Uh, definitely gotta move somebody out. Gotta throw GSP in there, like that was really dope. Big shout out to um, Joseph Vincent with the dope documentary, always comes through. You guys, I hope you guys are enjoying these documentaries. I'm definitely enjoying making these videos. MMA is such a beautiful sport, and I'm so happy that I'm finally, finally getting into it. If you guys haven't already done so, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell if you want to be first to see the videos, and make sure you guys jab that like button so you, you can send this video to the moon. I'm going to remind you guys one more time. I got a like goal, you guys, now. Make sure you guys like this video to send this video to the moon y'all 100 likes it would make me very happy and make sure you guys follow me on x the the handle is right up there so make sure you guys follow me on x as well i know some of y'all might not like x but i feel like it's a really good platform for you guys to communi communicate with me see what i got going on on the daily basis if you're that interested so make sure you guys follow me there if you're liking i definitely would appreciate that you guys and as always, you guys, be safe. Give it your all in whatever you're doing in life. And I'm going to see you guys next time because it is your boy, Division, and I'm out. Peace. I'm just looking for a good time. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm singing like, oh, oh. Please fill my cup.